Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bavaria in Victoria Tree, where today we'll be spreading Oktoberfest to the entire world. Well, not really, but I'll try to form Germany. So let's get to it. Now, the first thing I will do though is attack Baden, since I don't think anybody will join. I doubt Prussia will. So we can just snap it and connect our territory in the Rhineland with our core lands and also expand it to Switzerland with it. Guys, don't tell them. We will sneak behind their backs and just take their country. And just like this, we have won a war without firing a single shot. Ah yes, our small little Bavaria is growing. I am a bit tempted into expanding into other German miners since we are in a customs union with Prussia, so it's not necessary they will interfere, you know. Let's attack Frankfurt and hope nobody else interferes. I doubt anybody will. Why would they? It's just a regional conflict. Hey, we have already beaten Frankfurt. Also, there is a revolution brewing within our faction, but I don't think anything or much will happen since... We can just call in Prussia, can't we? Oh, cultural exclusion was enacted before <laughs> the revolution would happen. And I guess we can just keep attacking other German miners. I will go for the big one. Well, the second biggest one in the south, which is Wittenberg. And hopefully nobody intervenes. I doubt anybody will, because why would they? It's Wittenberg. Bruh. The Ottomans sided with Wittenberg. <laughs> that... Sure. Ah, by the looks of it, we will win the most important engagement of the war, which is the first battle, but we'll see. Yeah, Wittenberg are prepared to capitulate, but thanks to the Ottomans, they won't. One thing that I will risk is try to get no migration control, since even if there will be a rebellion, I can just ask Prussia to intervene and help us, so that should be of great help. Finally, we were able to take Wittenberg, and now, well, we can keep focusing on conquer... I mean, uniting Germany, definitely not conquering it. Yay, civil war is happening. Now all we need to do is beat the aristocratic revolt with zero divisions. Even one will be enough. I will wait a bit now and then I'm going to try to take Switzerland. If we are able to incorporate Switzerland into our state, we'll be almost on par with Prussia population-wise, GDP-wise, nowhere near them. Now let's continue our conquests by attacking Switzerland. If nothing else, I will at least try to take East Switzerland, but I'm pretty sure I can ask Prussia to join our, on our side. You know what, I'm just gonna risk it and ask for West Switzerland too. Hopefully it doesn't trigger anybody important to join the war, because Britain, they can join. Like, they can't fight us, so that's okay. Yeah, the first battle is going very decisively in our favor, so I'm pretty sure we will win the war without much of a fuss. And just like this, Switzerland is part of our country and we have gotten quite a higher GDP and population. Let's continue our conquest of the German states by attacking Nassau. Oh, Austria and Prussia are going to war and I hope we won't be dragged into it. Somehow we're already the ninth strongest faction so far. I mean, I get it why, but still, I didn't expect it. A friend, sorry, as much as I want to join your customs union, I would rather not right now. I will try to take what you call sex, and I think nobody will interfere because they all have negative relations with them. So, just a quick word and a bit of an increase in GDP and population. We have taken the sex thingy majinky. I will wait a bit and then we'll continue our expansion up north through Hesse Castle into Hanover, possibly. Okay, some very good news. We have gotten Prussia as our ally, which means we can actually start attacking Austria a bit now and just take their territory little by little. Also, I'm pretty sure I can start just going ham here. Even if Prussia won't be on our side, we can still do it because, well, they're our ally. I mean, they won't join the enemies, right? Yeah, not gonna lie, the fact that Austria is having a revolt within it is great news for us. So as soon as I'll be able to destroy Veldek, we'll just focus on Austria, try to take their role, maybe Lombardy or Venetia, but I'm gonna see. Since we have won the war against Veldek, 
Now, I do believe it's time for us to try and conquer the role, which we will do very shortly. I feel like we won't even have to fight them that much since... yeah... <laughs> they have all but lost already. With this, we have been able to secure the role as one of our core provinces. Well, soon enough to be core provinces. I will try to continue our conquests now, since, I mean, who's gonna oppose us, Prussia? Nah, they're our allies, so yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go for laissez-faire since, I mean, having unlimited funds for the investment pool from investment pool is just amazing. I'm going to wait for Austria to go through another of its civil war, and then I will probably try to take Austria, the province, and maybe even Styria, but like, we'll see how our infamy falls down. Although alternatively, I could just try to and take Saxony. Like, that wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? You know what, I don't care anymore. We will make San Marco into a protectorate, asking, well, Prussia to join the war against them. Yeah, since we have called in Prussia, they don't stand a chance. I just hope we'll be able to annex San Marco fast enough, so that Italy won't unify. <laughs> and with this, we have gotten access to the sea. Oh my, Prussia decided to, well, unite the North German Confederation Federation thingy early, so... But by the looks of it, they won't win. Yeah, Prussia doesn't have a chance in this conflict. I feel bad for them, but at the same time, we were to take South Tyrol and Austria and all the other cat territories. Oh my, Italy has formed. I didn't even notice that. They are almost as strong as we are. Well, they are kind of stronger than we are, but I doubt they have shrapnel artillery. Okay, this is a way smaller Prussia, and I can manage with that. I can think I can actually take them out eventually. I do believe it's time for our annual war with Austria, where I will try to take Styria from them, and let's see how it goes. I think we can call in Prussia, so that should do us good. Who'd have thought that such a giant war will come out of little Styria? Eh, let's get to it. We have beaten San Marco, and now we just need to take out Austria fully. You know, Vienna has almost fallen, so the war should be ending fairly soon. And we have beaten Austria in another war. I think Italy will be our next greatest at adversary but we'll see how it goes i will have to expand my army a bit maybe expand their economy too and then we can probably take them on i have completely forgotten about hohenzollern's existence so i'm just gonna annex them real quick and just deal with this little smudge on the map oh damn italy actually decided to join hohenzoller what what did the italians have made a few aggressive mistakes i will try to counter them as soon as possible, just go under the fence as soon as we win these two battles and, well, try to push and take Torino, because if we take it, they should be getting ticking war score. Okay, it seems like the Prussian market has decided to crash, so sadly we have to leave Prussia to its own devices now. Okay, we're not missing that many other, what you call it, supplies, so us leaving the Prussian market wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, we have taken Turin, Turino, whatever you want to call it, and at this point, it's just a matter of time before Italy capitulates. Oh, we can already do this, and just like this, we have beaten the Italians. Okay, so Prussia is under a new management, which I don't like that much, but I guess we'll just have to deal with it. I mean, I can probably take Prussia on. I'm not that confident, but at the same time, we probably can, right? Yeah, the balance of power between us and Prussia is very similar. However, they have put most of their troops here in South, South Tyrol, and I just hope we can get lucky enough and push through Bohemia right into Breslau. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna accept the Prussian peace deal of a white piece and take it. You know, the world is kinda weird when Bavaria is the greatest German power. Finally, we have gained the status of a major nation. Now we can declare more interests. I'm guessing just in Europe, mainly, maybe in Northern Africa if we're lucky, but anywhere else, no, no chance. Well, it seems that Prussia has decided it's time to go to war with us once more. I don't know why they want to take us out so much, but I guess they just do. Uh, 
Yeah, and I'm gonna lie, I'm just gonna try to assemble a mighty coalition against Prussia. We still have a lot of moves left, so there are still a few countries I can ask us to join. <laughs> yeah, I hope this will be enough for us to <laughs> defeat the Prussians. I can still call in France and San Marco, which I won't do because I don't see a need to. It seems like Prussia will be in for a good time one day. Yeah, who could have seen this one coming? Declaring war on Bavaria, which is allied to Britain, might backfire, Prussia. No, I think it's time to destroy Austria as well, since we have beaten Prussia by taking Austria itself and Slovenia. I'm confident in our general's ability to defend, even though they have overwhelming superiority numbers. Okay, our front is holding up. We are just gonna defend for a while until the either Ottomans or the Austrians lose their will to fight, then we're just gonna counterattack since we only need to take Vienna. Bruh, no way is San Marco just pushing into Austria. What does this tell you about us? I mean, we are defending the front nicely and we have inflicted most of the casualties, I think. But still, damn! And we will put our troops on the offense in case you're wondering. Yes, I think this is a GG now. <laughs> Oh, the Ottomans have capitulated, leaving only Austria in the war against us. And just like this, we have taken Vienna and Slovenia from the Austrians. Oh boy, Prussia is having a civil war, which we surely won't exploit for our own benefits. Let's reduce San Marcos' autonomy. I think we're friendly enough, so hopefully they accept. I think they'll accept. Yeah, they accepted. I think we should try to conquer Prussian Brunswick so we can isolate the three states from them and just kinda ruin their economy, at least mess with it, you know? Let's go take Prussian Brunswick, since this way we'll be able to take out Westphalia, Ruhr and North Rhine from them. Also try to take Anhalt, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, we'll be able to take Anhalt and Prussian Brunswick from Prussia, thus isolating Westphalia, Ruhr and North Rhine from eastern part of Prussia. Oh damn, <laughs> Prussia actually backed down. I wasn't expecting that. Let's try to take Oldenburg. I think we can take them out without much of a problem. Maybe France will intervene, but then again, maybe France will intervene. Wait, America sides with Oldenburg? Why on earth do they care? Yeah, the Americans didn't come to Europe to fight for Oldenburg. So I think we're just gonna beat them. Let's continue our conquests with Bremen. I don't think anybody will come to help them, but still, you never know. A random America might join. Let's go attack Prussia and take Westphalia and the Ruhr region from them. Hopefully they don't call in France, but that's just hopefully. Don't worry lads, we're winning the war against Prussia quite convincingly and they should be capitulating any minute now. Oh, we can already take their territory. So at this point I have decided that I will end the video. And if you want a part two where I actually form Germany, uh, just, I don't know, let's say 100 likes till next week. And then in two weeks, I hopefully form Germany. I don't know what happened, what will happen. But we're on OK track to do it, I think. I hope. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all had fun watching it. Otherwise, I wish you a very nice day. Until next time. Bye bye.